It had three eyes over a dozen feet and lived in the ocean. Paleontologists at the Manitoba Museum and Royal Ontario Museum have discovered a remarkable new 506 million year old predator from the Burgess Shales of Canada. Welcome to another episode of Pure Science. This is Soumya Pillai and today we look into a study published in the Journal of Royal Society Open Science about Masura Fentoni, nicknamed the sea moth. The creature was about the size of your index finger. It was spiny and had three eyes, jointed claws, a circular mouth lined with teeth and a body with swimming flaps along the sides. These traits show it was a part of an extinct group known as radiodonts, an offshoot of the anthropod evolutionary tree. This category of animals has a hard body without a backbone. Anthropods also have legs that are made of more than one part that can be bent where the parts join together, like a scorpion or a spider. Scientists have found that Mosura possessed a feature not seen in any other rhododont, which was an abdomen-like body region made of multiple segments at its back end. Its body comprised 16 tightly packed segments lined with gills at the rear end. This feature was likely used to capture more oxygen from its environment. According to the authors of the study, this was a neat example of the evolutionary convergence with modern groups like horseshoe crabs and insects, which share a batch of segments bearing respiratory organs at the rear of their body. The reason for this adaptation remains uncertain, but a possible explanation for this could be related to the particular habitat preference or behavioral characteristics of Masura that required more efficient respiration. How this now extinct animal got its name is also an interesting story. Because of its broad swimming flaps near its midsection, narrow abdomen and vague appearance like a moth, Masora was nicknamed the sea moth. This also inspired its scientific name which references the fictional Japanese kaiju or monster in the movie Mothra released in 1961. But mythical references aside, Masura are only distantly related to the real moth. They belong to a much deeper branch in the evolutionary tree of these animals collectively known as arthropods like I had mentioned before. Now, radiodonts are extinct, but studying their fossilized remains can provide an insight into how the modern arthropods, including insects, crabs, spiders, etc., evolved. According to Dr. Joe Mosuk, the lead author of the study and the curator of paleontology and geology at the Manitoba Museum in Winnipeg, arthropods are believed to account for more than 80% of living animal species. Radiodonts were the first group of arthropods to branch out in the evolutionary tree, so they provide key insights into ancestral traits of the entire group. The new species emphasizes that these early arthropods were already surprisingly diverse and were adapting in a comparable way to their distant modern relatives. Several of these fossils of Masura show details of internal anatomy, including elements of the nervous system, circular system, and even a digestive tract. Interestingly, instead of having arteries and veins like we do, Masura had an open circulatory system with its heart pumping blood into large internal body cavities called the lacunae. These lacunae are preserved as reflective patches that fill the body and extend into the swimming flaps in the fossil. According to scientists, the well-preserved lacunae of the circulatory system in Masura help interpret similar but less clear features than seen before in other fossils. While the radiodont fossils are permanently on display in the Royal Ontario Museum's Dawn of Life exhibition, 
the authors of the study are planning to have a Masura specimen on display at the Manitoba Museum later this year. Maybe some of you can check it out for yourself. That was all from me. I am Soumya Pillai and this was Pure Science.